And when Governor Romney had his chance to let you in on the secret sauce of job creation, he did not offer you a single new idea. It was just a retread of the same old policies that have been sticking it to the middle class for years. And then after the convention, and Governor Romney came here to Ohio. And he said he's going to be the coach that leads America to a winning season. The problem is everybody's already seen his economic playbook. We know what's in it. On first down, he hikes taxes on nearly two, uh, by nearly $2,000 on the average family with kids in order to pay for a massive tax cut for multimillionaires. That's on first down. Sounds like unnecessary roughness to me. <laughs> on, on second down, he calls an audible and undoes reforms that are there to prevent another financial crisis and bank bailout. He wants to get rid of rules that are there to protect our air and our water and workers' rights and protections to make sure health care is there for you when you get sick. And then on third down, he calls for a Hail Mary, ending Medicare as we know it by giving seniors a voucher that leaves them to pay any additional costs out of their pocket. There's a flag on the play. Loss of up to an additional $6,400 a year for the same benefits you get now. That's their playbook. That's their economic plan. And I've got one piece of advice for you about the Romney-Ryan game plan, Ohio. Punt it away. It won't work. It won't win the game. <laughs>